Welcome back, everybody. Time for a serious conversation, but an important one here on this day before Thanksgiving. Statistically speaking, every adult person watching this broadcast has or will at some point serve as caregiver for a relative or a loved one. More than 44 million people in the United States, that's about 20% of our population, is doing it right now, serving as unpaid caregivers to an adult family member or friend. Connie Moore is a client care specialist with Commerce Trust Company, and she is here to offer a little advice. Wonderful to have you here this oh, morning. Oh, thank you, Matt. And a perfect time to be here because here's the deal. You know this. Uh, mm -hmm. Tomorrow, as we're all gathered mm -hmm. around the table, you get a chance to kind of take inventory of your relatives, some of which you see maybe once or twice a year. How can you recognize if someone you haven't seen for a while maybe suddenly needs some help? Well, that's a very good question because what happens is there are very subtle signs that tend to be universal clues. Mm such as, has mom, ha and we're going to use mom today for the sake of conversation. Sure. So has there been a change in appearance, uh, change in hygiene? Perhaps there are unexplained bruises. And if that's, if that's the case, it could mean that mom has been falling and not telling anyone oh about gosh. it. What about the house is a little bit messy and mom would never have allowed that in the past? Spoiled food, expired food in the pantry, mm -hmm. stacks of unopened mail, unpaid bills, medication that's not being taken properly. And then of course we have the car because if you notice some dents and dings and scratches on that car that you didn't notice the last time you, you were in town ah, visiting. Red flag. And then mom doesn't really realize or remember that they were there, then that could be a problem. And so if you find yourself in a situation where you are picking up on clues, you need to know that it is time to act. So then we want to start a conversation, but we also want to be very sensitive to their feelings. How do we untangle that knot? Well, I usually encourage people to take, take a breath, mm -hmm. step back, and enlist the help of their brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, cousins, maybe a dear friend of mom's, people who really have her best interest at heart and sit down and have a meeting and share your observations. And I think what's important in that meeting is two things. One is it's very important for everyone to be heard and or to have a say and mm -hmm. it's equally important for everyone to be heard right. because people around that table might share some of your observations but there is also a chance that there are people sitting around that table that is hearing this for the first time sure. and it's hard to digest yeah. and so this the purpose of this particular meeting is to set the foundation for the next step which is let's say the family committee has come to an agreement okay it is time to take action mm -hmm. how do we take that mm -hmm. next step that mm -hmm. might be the most most difficult part of this process? Well, I think it's the most difficult conversation that you yeah. may have the rest of your life. Mm. And um, my suggestion is to get that care team together, that circle of caring people, and choose a time that is very quiet and calm, maybe a Saturday afternoon when nothing is going, going on, and you know, maybe sit down with mom in the family room. And one thing I really want people to remember is if mom is going through changes, she did not ask for this to happen to her. This is not her fault. And you were all there because of her. You were all there for mm. her. And so you include her in that process and you have a discussion and you share your concerns. Really well said. <laughs> this, by the way, clearly just the tip of the iceberg. So here's what we plan to do after the show. Mm -hmm. We'll talk more about this in a moment. We're going to do a GDXL all about this, and I think that'll be great. For more information, though, in the meantime, give Commerce Trust Company a call at 314-746-7329 or check them out on the web at commercetrustcompany.com to download a complimentary copy of the caregiver caregiving rather workbook the caregiving workbook great place to start and yes i mentioned it join us online after today's show on great day's facebook page at about 10 15 or so we'll continue this conversation about caring for an aging parent or a loved one with connie moore of commerce trust company that's on today's gdxl guys you Man. know this i'm, I'm dealing with this in my family right now too. And, yeah, right there. We'll talk and you know the thing that. about it is too as you as you get to be an adult a child and you come home you don't see your parents as much so you will it, it is a time of, of assessment right. because yep. you do see those changes and you notice them a little more because they're not as gradual mm -hmm. um, so it's it, it is good to have a good observant eye yeah. at this time of year well said. good yeah. stuff thank All you right. very much you too